two, four, six, eight. Tim, are you celebrating? No, I've just been contracted to renovate a chain restaurant. I'm preparing Lycee packets to hand out. Lycee packets? Just a good luck token for my workers before they start. And do carry on? This, this is, is to a good, good start! start. Hey, good luck. Thank you, boss. All the bad luck to you. Good luck. Good luck. Hey, good luck. Good luck. Thanks, boss. Good luck. Johnny, Lessie packet for you. Tim, I can't accept it. <laughs> Everyone gets one. It's nothing. Still, it's company policy. I can't accept it. <laughs> You're a stickler for the rules. We'll work well together then. If you need my help someday, feel free to ask. You're too kind. Speaking of which, I just bought a home. Congratulations. Thanks. The new property needs to be renovated. Are you interested? Of course. Excellent. Come by sometime and give me a quote. Sure. I'll even offer you a discount. I'll count on you then. Certainly. Johnny, since you're sending more business my way, allow me to treat you to dinner tonight. You can't say no this time. <laughs> All right then, thank you. You're welcome. Let's go eat. Who does he think he is? How dare you quote such a high price? Move those as well. Tim, can I have a word with you? Sure, just a moment. I just got a sign for the delivery. Are these floor tiles? Yep. Let's have a look. Sure. Long, open a box and show it to Johnny. Okay. Johnny? Tim, <laughs> this isn't right stock. Impossible. I ordered them according to the contract. These are unacceptable. The color is all wrong. You can tell it's shoddy quality. You need to replace the whole lot. But Johnny, you had no problem with it when we showed you the sample. Why is there an issue now? Let's talk in private. Tim, I'll get to the point. The price you quoted for renovating my place is a tad high. This is a fair price. $100,000 won't even cover the materials. Shh. It's a win-win proposition if we work together. We'll both benefit. Substitute cheaper materials for the staff lounge and warehouse, and I'll turn a blind eye. In the end, you'll turn a bigger profit. You want me to use inferior materials? I can't do that. Look. Our restaurant chain is expanding. As long as I take care of your records, all future renovation contracts will go to you. If you don't cooperate, I don't know if I can help you with your current project. It's up to you. Ah, excuse me. I need to take this call. Hello? Yes. I'll be back shortly. Bye. Uh, I need to go now. Think about it, okay? But Johnny... <sighs> Our company is just starting up. If we cross Johnny now, we're done. But renovating his home at that ridiculous rate is not right. What can I do? Tim? Fortunately, I decided to report Johnny to the ICAC. He was later arrested. Thanks to the restaurant group's new project manager, we successfully completed the renovations. He was so impressed with our craftsmanship that he offered us more work on future projects. I believe in winning business through quality, not bribery. Thank you for warning me the other day. Otherwise, I might have broken the law. Remember, any person who offers advantage to an agent in exchange for work-related favors is guilty of bribery. If you offer an unreasonably low rate to Johnny in exchange for a lax supervision in the restaurant renovation and contracts for future projects, you might have broken the law. Fortunately, I didn't listen to him. Still, what does the term advantage encompass? Advantage refers to anything of value, regardless of the monetary amount. That said, food or drinks for consumption on the occasion do not fall under the definition of advantage. 
So treating him to dinner is not considered to be a bribe. Even though a free meal is not deemed an advantage, one should still be careful. For example, offering extravagant meals or frequent entertainment can be misinterpreted as attempts to bribe. I offered Lysi to Johnny on her first day of work. Did I break the law? Lysi packets for business associates should be handled with caution. You may not have corrupt intentions when you offer the Lysi packets, but others might see it as a way to ingratiate yourself. But if you were offering Lysi packets in exchange for work-related favors, you certainly committed bribery. Huh? What if it's a trade custom to offer Lysi packets? Is that okay? According to the law, accepting or offering bribes in excuse of trade custom or practice is no defense against corruption charges. Wow. There's so much to be aware of. Of course. Speaking of which, I'm thinking about renovating my coffee shop. Would you be interested? Of course. <clears throat> Rest assured, I'll charge you the standard rate and you'll get the best standards. 